Yeah, well, you see, I started by saying microchron is the symbol of everything. That microchron is the symbol of consciousness, infinite being. But at the same time, microchron is the symbol of unconditional love. And yet, microchron is the symbol of energy infinite energy now let's bring it all to practical set terms when I talk about infinite energy I mean infinite sustainable energy you see we live in a moment in time where we have difficulty with energy consumption the so-called doom so isn't it yeah. so where does the crux of the problem come from many of us are ignorant of the fact that all that pertains to energy consumption is manipulated we have no idea we have no inkling that crude oil fossil fuel hmm? oil gas and coal has been absolute for almost a hundred years we have not needed it for a long time hmm? shocked? Mm -hmm. we have not needed it because scientists ages ago decades ago have discovered an alternative source of energy called the zero point energy out of the quantum flux that is the space around you the space everywhere is full of energy space in itself is not empty not at all it's vibrating palpitating with energy and quantum physicists scientists have discovered how to tap into this energy now we have energy from the sun solar we have wind but no one has taught or talked about space space the air that we breathe has energy and they have created devices that can tap into this energy so if we talk about the microchron, the microchron has also this message to the world that we have the possibility, humanity has the possibility today to tap into infinite energy. And with that, each household with this simple small device can tap into the infinite sustainable energy source that will bring prosperity to every single human being to all countries to all continents so that there will be a global renewal a global rebirth of humanity and in time with this energy we will reach up to the stars well, a, yes a nation that does not appreciate its art yes um, has no history um, going forward, how... Now, wait a moment. You asked what the microchron yeah, exactly. also means. Exactly. Yes. So, this is another question. Yeah. Apart from the question you've just asked. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Continue. Yes. So, uh, the question is, what is history? And the answer is, we go through traces tracks, footprints that have been left in the sands of time. Through what? Through art. And through that we can read a people's development. 
And so, if we do not take our art seriously, we lose our history and we lose ourselves as a people. Seriously. You get me? I get you. This is a conversation. It's not only an interview. If we do not follow our history, how do we follow our history? Through the arts that have been left by our ancestors. And the contemporary artist builds upon what is left to us by the ancestors. You see, I use adinkra symbols in my works. Where do I have them? My ancestors left them to us. And I'm using it to build up a new language, a contemporary language of truth. So that is what art and history does for us. And if we forget our history, if we forget our cultural heritage, then we lose ourselves as a people. It's as simple as that. The future of art and the people of this nation is bound together by what I see a true leader a true leader who sees the needs of the people who loves the country so much that he will lead us into the, the, the new technological possibilities that are there for all of us and it will not be only him. There will be new leaders that will take culture, science, and even spirituality to mold our futures, to mold a new civilization, a glorious new civilization of prosperity and abundance. But all with the base, they are bases. The, 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 the foundation of this new civilization will be truth. That is how I see it as an artist. But, but I, I can see you have passion for art, and then I'm very global. I mm. had passion for art. Mm -hmm. you know, what I learned was that they, they perceive, because with the influx of uh, people with our hands anymore, computer, computer is a tool to knowledge. I've used the computer, the World Wide Web, to access some of the information that has helped me to become the artist that I am today. The computer is like a book of knowledge. You can use it in whichever way you want to. It is not a bad thing. So we dare not demonize the computer. It is what we do with the computer that is of significance. Technology it's there to take out, take us up to new levels of development. New levels of development which will also help us to assess our own spirituality. So this new energy source that I'm talking about will not only bring us prosperity and abundance, it will help us to assess what is more important in our lives because you see the human is spirit you are not flesh and blood right you will leave it and go this is a vehicle for the soul your consciousness hmm, to explore the world around you so these new technologies will help us to attain higher levels of consciousness. I understand, but you know, drawing with your hand... Drawing. My art is about consciousness. Okay. My art is about truth. That lies in nature. And that lies in reality. Otherwise, I will not do art. I will do photography. Document. It's more interesting. My art is serious business. So when I talk so seriously, don't be afraid. I take it passionately and seriously. I mean serious business. So it is something that I'll give my life for. What? Do you see the passion in upcoming artists? 
There are those who have that passion. There are those who are highly intelligent. There are those who I call the ancients who are coming back. I call them the return, or I term it the return of the ancients. You see, there is a transmigration going on. It is this transmigration of our own souls. So those who were in the ancient times are coming back. Those masters who built those great civilizations we almost know nothing about, but have, have left remnants, pieces of information of that great civilization. Talking about Egypt, they are coming back. And built that new civilization. I'm doing it by the little things that I do. For example, this book.